In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Vadin application using NetBeans and Maven. So the first step, of course, is going to netbeans.org and downloading the installer if you haven't done so. Uh, make sure you download this uh, bundle, Java E, because this is the one containing the tools we need to develop web applications, all right? So click this button and run the uh, the installer. I'm not going to do it in this video, it's pretty simple. So let's cancel this and just uh, run uh, NetBeans once you have installed it. So the other thing you need to do is uh, to install the Vadin plugin for NetBeans. So go to Tools, Plugins, and over here this option, Available Plugins, just search for Vadin and you should get this Vadin plugin for NetBeans. Select it and click the install button and just follow the instructions. Yes, we can trust this. We need to restart the ID and we should be, uh, be ready to create a new project and we should see this folder here, Vadin. And there are many Vadin uh, related things that you can create with NetBeans, but we are interested in this one. Uh, Vadin Web Application Project, all right? So click, ne click Next and uh, give it a, a name. I'm going to use this one, Tutorial. Uh, there are other things that you might want to consider, but I'm just going to use the defaults and click Finish. So now we have a Vadin project here. Uh, it's basically a Maven project. So you will find this uh, pom.xml, that's a project uh, object model. It's like a, a, a project definition for Maven. Uh, and it's this file where you would add other dependencies like jars if you, if you wish, like uh, for example, log4j or spring or even additional Vadin uh, add-ons. Uh, you will also find these uh, web pages with a folder called Vadin and then themes and finally the theme for this application which contains several SCSS files where you can uh, change the appearance of your application but let's just uh, forget about it for uh, this video and let's have a look at the uh, most interesting part which is this uh, Java class over here uh, so as you can see, it's just uh, plain Java, and this is defining uh, some UI components, such as a text field and a button, and some behavior through a click listener. Uh, so let's see how we can run this application in NetBeans. Uh, this is a, uh, let's say, a normal or a standard Java web application that you can deploy to any uh, server or a servlet container or even application server. Uh, you could do it, for example, by adding your own server here, or well, not here, but here. Yeah. Uh, so you could add here uh, Tomcat, for example, or you could even use this Glassfish server that is already there. Uh, but because we are using Maven, uh, it would be interesting to see how we can run this using Maven as well. And the archetype we used to create this application, or that NetBeans uh, used to create this application, uh, con uh, already contains a, a configured uh, Jetty plugin for Maven. That means we can use it for running uh, the application. So, for example, you could you can click the root of the project here in this tree and just uh, execute this go Jetty run, and you should be able to see the application. But uh, it would be nice if we can run the application by only clicking this button, right? So there's a way to do that, which is uh, go to the properties of of the, the of the project and look for this option over here, actions. And there should be an action for debugging the project, for example. All right. So right now it's just packaging the project. This is uh, Maven. Uh, goal so we need to add another one which is jetty run okay 
this one here. And also we would like to debug this uh, application and we are using Maven, so it makes sense to add this one, right? So just add it, click OK, and now you should be able to run the application by, by clicking this button. Now the first time you click the button, of course, it's going to ask for a server, but uh, we are not using a server, right? We are using Maven, so just select this one, ignore, and click OK. Over here you will see the uh, log of the uh, building process. And also the log for the application itself. So at some point you should see this started Jetty server. That means we can jump to our browser and go to localhost 8080 and it should work. So let's type something here and click. Yeah, it works. Uh, an interesting thing is that this is uh, actually Java running on the server side. That means we can add breakpoints here. For example, uh, this line is going to be executed when the button, button, this button is clicked. So if I, I put a breakpoint here and then I click the button, uh, the execution uh, stops exactly at this line and you can use all the debugger capabilities to inspect variables or uh, run uh, the program uh, line by line or uh, anything you, you can do with the uh, debugger that NetBeans provides. Uh, you can stop the application or the server by clicking this button and you can continue the execution by clicking this one.